In this video, we solve problem 6.2.5 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says, find the area of the shaded region. The graph to the right depicts IQ scores of adults, and those scores are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. So we've got this normal distribution here. It's a non-standard normal distribution, and we're asked to find this area. Now it's the area to the left of a, an IQ score of 90. I'm going to show you how to work this on my paper and then we will use the table of Z scores on the computer and then we'll use that to find the corresponding area. Okay, so we're right here. Now, just to get a sense of what the corresponding z-score is here, I like to um, add the mean to that horizontal axis and add one or two standard deviations. So if we um, have a standard deviation of 15 and the mean is 100, that 100 is in the middle. And then if I add one standard deviation to that, I'll be at 115 because I'm adding 15. And if I subtract one standard deviation from that, I'm subtracting 15, so I would be at 85. Now we could keep going. That's the mean uh, minus one standard deviation. Um, but that 90 is in between the mean minus one standard deviation and the mean, or in the mean itself. So um, 85 corresponds to a z-score of negative one because it's one standard deviation below the mean. Since 90 is in between that uh, 85 and that 100, I would expect that z-score to be some number between zero and negative one. That's what this shows me. Now, in order to um, find the exact z-score, I will use this formula. We know that z is equal to the x value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And in this case, the x value that we're interested in is x equals 90. And then we'll subtract the mean and we'll divide by the standard deviation. So you get negative 10 over 15. So that's negative 2 thirds or approximately negative 0 0.67. So that is our z-score. That's what we will look up on our table. Now I've only rounded to two decimal places because that's what our table shows. Um, now if I'm trying to find this area, that's the same as this probability. So I'm trying to find the probability that x is less than 90, which is the same as the probability that z is less than negative 0.67. And I can find that probability looking at, um, by looking at a table. So this is the mean on our non-standard normal distribution. The corresponding um, mean on the standard normal distribution would be zero. This is one standard deviation below the mean. This is one standard deviation above the mean. And our 90, that 90 right here, corresponds to z equals negative, or z is approximately equal to negative 0.67. Okay, so let's, let's find this. In order to find that, I will share my screen with you. So we'll go over here. And we know that the z value is a negative 0.67, so we go to the negative z scores, and you want that negative 0 0.6 in this first column. So there it is, and then we're going to negative 0.6 seven, that's in the hundredths place. So this is negative 0 0.60. This is the area to the left of negative 0 0.61, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's my area. That's negative 0 0.6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That area is 0. Uh, 2514. 
So that's that area, which is the same as that area. Now, if we want to interpret this in terms of IQ scores, this is saying that 25.14% of adults have an IQ that's less than 90. Or you can think of it this way. If you find a randomly selected adult and you were to find their IQ, there is a 25.14% chance that their IQ score would be less than 90. So the area is 0 0.2514. Make sure my lab statistics likes it. And it does. That means we did it right. <laughs>